you might have certain currencies that dictate how certain um, products and services get valued, almost similar to the way the benchmark currency for crude oil is the dollar, uh, certainly around, you know, for OPEC, OPEC crude. Um, and then you also have sort of weighted baskets of, of currencies that are used as, as, as valuation mechanisms. So I think Facebook credits will be a parallel monetary infrastructure. I think it will be made to it will essentially allow people to to pick and choose when they want to use that. I think certainly within the Facebook ecosystem, um, I can certainly see how that will become the dominant currency of choice. Um, I suspect that Facebook may eventually have to create a a, a trading platform that allows them to constantly mark to market what those credits look like. Um, and you know so I think I think I think that's going to be a very, very large opportunity for them. But will there be sort of one unified social currency? My instincts tell me no, uh, because that's never been done in the analog world. And my view is if you know transferring stuff you know from the analog world to the digital world, in as frictionless a manner as possible um, is one way to get a very fast-growing utility or fast-growing service. And if you're not able to solve some of the analog problems, um, then you know just going digital doesn't necessarily guarantee you success either.